Luckily, it's nice and warm inside the University Credit Union Center for a critical game down the stretch of the Big West season as UC Davis plays host to visiting Cal State Fullerton. And welcome courtside, everyone, alongside former Aggie great and the four-time Big West champ, Kayla Livingston. I'm Greg Wong. Big matchup tonight, Kayla. Obviously, UC Davis coming off that big win against UC San Diego on the road in La Jolla, thanks much in part to a 24-0 run. And welcome inside University Credit Union Center alongside Hall of Fame sports writer Bob Dunning. I'm Greg Wong, and Bob, final two games for UC Davis coming up on this homestand before the all-important Big West tournament next week. Yeah. The Aggies have had a few cracks to either tie or take the lead facing this two-point deficit, see if they're able to get over the hump here. Hall weaves around the ball screen, fires it up, knocks it down, and we are tied. This is mind-boggling. From down 17 to tied at 62. Five to shoot for Evan Turner. Goes behind her back, frees herself. That's a tough one. Oh, what a shot! I don't think Evan can believe it. The Aggies are ahead. What an unbelievable shot from Evan Turner. And the Aggies on top by one. Here we go. It's in the hands of Kaylin Trong. She gets the shot off. No good. Rebounded by Hall, and that's it. From 17 down, UC Davis has pulled off the upset. The UC Davis Aggies have defeated the Gonzaga Bulldogs. 69 to 66. And what a comeback here at Bob Hamilton Court. He's of late. Sable, this is a heat check. Are you kidding me? She shrugged her shoulder. She was like, I guess. I guess I'll shoot it. It's a Michael Jordan shrug from Tova. And why not? She's got 17. It's in the hands of Sierra Hall. Fires it back door, dropping a dime. And Stobart with the finish. And Baker trying to do it herself. Banker, count it. And another chance at an and one for Vic Baker. Baker, she's feeling it. And hits. She is in her bag tonight, and the Yankees have desperately needed it. We approach two minutes to go. Hall on the post entry. One-on-one -on -one coverage, and she will take that all night. That's who I'm giving the ball to when I'm behind. UC Davis back up a penny. And Turner intercepts the inbounds. She's got numbers at the two on one. She takes it straight to the cup and finishes. Might be the spark the Aggies need. Five consecutive points, the three by Hall, the two by Turner. She gets the steal and then takes it 94 feet. And the lead is down to a dozen. Here's Sierra Walker, who is one for five for the game. Kay Lintrong can't hang on to it. And there's a turnover, so the Aggies now have a chance to string together some points and continue to cut into this deficit. Final non-conference game of the season for UC Davis. Turner coming off a of flare screen, fires away, bottom! Eight in a row. Turner drops in a triple and it's a nine point game. Eight consecutive points in 53 seconds. Five straight by Turner. Here's Vir Joge, the Romanian, taking it one-on-one -on, -one on Stobart. Comes up short, Stobart with a defense, and Stobart with a box out. She secures the rebound. Burns, what a look! Conrad on the other end. You sense a timeout coming? Gonzaga wants to stop the run. Timeout called. UC Davis has scored 10 unanswered to make it a seven-point game here in the third season with the Aggies transferred here from Penn State. There's another transfer with a steal. Here's Victoria Baker slamming on the brakes, banking it up. Yes, and a foul. She is just an injection of life whenever she steps foot on the floor for UC Davis, and we saw that come to fruition there. A steal in the bucket, drew the contact by Phillips, 
And she's heading to the line for a chance at three. And it starts defensively. You get a hand in the passing lane. And then great job coming to two feet. Yeah, obviously, like Kayla said, just two more weeks left in the regular season as we get a look at the rest of the conference in the Big West standings, how all the teams stack up heading in to the Big West tournament. You see Long Beach State and UC Irvine duking it out for the top spot. But UC Davis and Cal State Fullerton still with plenty to play for. Kayla, as players, are you cognizant of what's happening in the standings at this juncture of the year? See Cal State Fullerton with that 6-11 and record in conference. For more on the visiting Titans, let's go to the third member of our crew, Kylan Mills. Hello, Kylan. Hey, Greg. They gave up 26 points in the first. Coach Gross not going to be happy with that, Greg. Yeah, Kylan, we saw 90 seconds in that early timeout from Jen Gross, and she kind of lit in to her team because this is exactly what happened down in Orange County earlier this year. Nimmo and Jovanovic went off for 44 points combined. And they come here to Davis, and it's deja vu in the first quarter, Kayla. Right, and I think as a player. UC Davis and Cal Poly on senior day. And you see Michaela Sanders getting the start for the Aggies. One of the seniors on her pregame. They have an early whistle and a foul called. That was Jazzy and you, Stan. Here is the starting lineup presented by Ontario International Airport. So Sanders, Jones, Sussman, those are the three seniors that are active today. And of course, Lena Svanholm, the other senior, has missed the entire year with a leg injury. Tova Sable is at the line, picking up right where she left off. Back on the score sheet to open up the afternoon. Meanwhile, here's the starting five for Cal Poly. This is not a very big team, but it's those two guards that really set the tone. Annika Shaw and Jazzy Anderson really play well off each other. Natalia Ackerman is really their center in this lineup at six foot one, and she crashes the glass here and lays it in and gets the Mustangs on the board. It's now time for the Bones Craft Kitchen deal of the game. Visit Bones Craft Kitchen at 113 D Street in Davis for breakfast or brunch and say Aggies to get a free mimosa flight or cocktail with your order. We go back to quarter number one and Campbell Gray with a dime to Megan Norris. Those were two of Megan's 14 points on the afternoon. Again, this is our Bones Craft Kitchen deal of the game. And Campbell Gray doing what she does best, and that's set up teammates with some flair. All right, almost time to get things restarted here in the second half. UC Davis leads UC Irvine 35 to 18. And let's take a look at some of those first half stats, which are presented by Mr. Fries Man. Mr. Fries Man, the official French fries of the Big West, and you see the defense from UC Davis holding Irvine to just nine for 33. They actually out-rebounded Irvine 23 to 12, and Irvine went 0 for 13 on threes through the first 20 minutes of the game. I think that three-point percentage really stands out. Uh, credit to UC Davis defense so far, holding them off on the three-point line. Um, the defense has been amazing on both ends, really, I think, but um, the zero... Zero threes in the first half is a big deal, and that is a reason why that the Aggies have such a good lead going into the third quarter. Yeah, they really shut down some of the best players on Irvine, who are some of the best in the conference, specifically that backcourt. Kayla Williams just four points, two for nine shooting, the reigning freshman of the year in the Big West, and Chloe Webb, four points, two for five shooting. The Aggies did turn it over ten times. Carly, is that a case of managing expectations against an Irvine pressure where you expect them to turn you over a few times or you think that was definitely an emphasis in the locker room that Jen Gross and company wanted to see that cleaned up? Oh, absolutely. That needs cleaned up. Um, the Anteaters, credit to them, they pressure, but some of those turnovers were unforced errors, um, just trying to rush or making passes that didn't need to be made. So I definitely think that'll be something they need to clean up to continue this lead. Um, but you have to expect a few with the way that the Anteaters can defend. Yeah, that's the thing about Irvine. They can face a big deficit, and then you can look up at the scoreboard, and they're right back in it after wreaking some havoc. Tamara Inouye, again, the sixth-year head coach of UC Irvine. They went 5-26 and 26 her first season in 2016-17. That's coming off a another single-digit win season before 
Tamara got there, and she has just built this program up. They've had some terrific players. They finished second in the Big West last year, lost to UC Davis in the Big West Championship. That was their first time in the championship game since 1997.